Hey everybody, what's up? It's Noah, and welcome back to Subnautica. Oh, it's been a couple days since I've last played. Uh, I've just picked off of where I last uh, was. I just The only thing I did was I just grabbed some creepvine uh, stuff, because I need to make some fiber mesh, because I need to make the radiation suit. So I need to grab this uh, next fiber mesh. Let's make this radiation suit, baby. There's still a few bugs they they probably need to fix. Like the that for example. Alright, so I need to have that on me. Okay. Alright, nothing much. We did get a message from the radio before we ended, so we're just gonna get to that. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal okay. location uploaded to PDA. Okay, so now we have the off second officer Keen's last progress location. So we have his location where he sent that message. Okay. Alright, so that'll be good. That's good to know. We do have to go there eventually. Alright, uh, might want to make a compass. Make a propulsion cannon. Fire reactor. And a trash can. Alright, just trying to remember, uh, what do I need? Uh, hmm. I don't remember. Alright. We need to release our mobile vehicle bay. Just where's a good place. Hopefully it'll release this way. Perfect. Okay. Got the seam off. One person C in space vehicle. Okay. Quite a bit of materials, so we need lube. This is all new, by the way. When I first like went in here, and then like it did all that and everything, I was like jumping up and down. It was so like it was so cool. Alright, and uh, we need, so we need a titanium ingot, which I have. I need a power cell, so I need two batteries. I can just take these out, because you can keep switching them around. 92, so let's just take that out. It's kind of a cheap way to... Just like to save your batteries. All right, so power cell. We need glass. I think we need two glass. We need the lube, and then we need lead. All right, so we need that. We need that. So we can get that uh that uh right away, and that would be excellent. So I think we need that. Okay, so, uh... It looks like nothing too much here. I probably should switch onto this, uh, radiation helmet. Just in case I go too far into the... Danger zone. At least now we have that, so we don't have to worry about it too much. Pick those up. And all we need now is uh, lead. So we need some sandstone chunks. I think there's some sand, sand, sandstone chunks down here. I can't even speak. Uh, nice trap, but you can't catch me. <laughs> just watch like they just take a chunk out of me. Sandstone. Silver. Well, if I get enough silver, I can actually make a wiring kit. Okay, one lead. Okay, I 
might need one more. I'll actually scan one of these floaters. They're very unique life form. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen Gold. efficiency decreased. Alright, I need to find a... Ouch, that hurt. Come on, can I get uh, one more silver and one more lead? Okay, there's the silver. Bunch of limestone chunks. Come on, where's the... One more sandstone. Alright, I gotta go up. Oxygen. Uh, okay. We're all good. Alright, let's head back down. Straight back down and... There should be a sandstone chunk here somewhere. We can get that. There's a sandstone chunk. This should be lead. Silver, really? I hope you guys are enjoying this series, because I really enjoyed this game. Other than Fallout 4, this was the first game I got. Because this game is just amazing of how of how much it's come, it's come to. I want to actually want to get that. Silver. Now, I think I'm going to bring my mobile vehicle bay over, so. Because uh, it won't be, like, as close to the, uh. Well, it'll just be closer to my base, so. Don't have to, like, bring it, like, 500 meters that way. I'll pick that up. Let's go on in and make this stuff. I need glass. Uh, wiring kit. I don't think I need raw silver for anything else, so I might as well make that. And I need a uh, compass. Don't need another one. And I can actually make another one of these. But I don't think I need to. I'm only going to grab this for right now. I'm going to need another titanium ingot, so I'll make another one of those. And see what I can carry over to the next uh, area. So let's just make this seem a lot. Oh god, a little shaky. Give it to me! is a fast, safe mode of transport. But remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Oh, and also you might notice in some of the, uh, in my older videos that, uh, I didn't get some of the achievements that I was supposed to get for the game. But that's because I've already got them. Welcome aboard, Captain. When I was practicing for the game, so... Sorry about that, but you won't be able to see that, but... But, uh... But like I said, I just, uh, I went ahead and did that, so. But, uh, there is still some achievements I'm missing, so. Like, making the Seamoth and the, uh, Prawn Suit, I did not get, so. I'll be able to get those. Get those. Titanium. I can make another Titanium Ingot. That'll at least save some room. What kind of equipment can I make? Oh, another compass and uh, flare. Flare for only cave sulfur? Ah, uh, I don't have enough room for everything. Oh, maybe I do? <laughs> there we go. Did I have something else on me? Oh, I have two compasses. Oops. Well, I can't deconstruct that, so just oops. <laughs> uh, at least we got everything, so we can just bring it all over here.
and plus this is way faster now than I believe a sea glide, sea glide uh, is just slightly slower than this I believe not much but it is I think slightly slower and I think I'm gonna leave my uh, mobile vehicle bay in the lo in, one, in a locker just so it doesn't occasionally float away so just for safety welcome aboard captain all right so we just put everything in here okay we're gonna head uh, the other direction so I don't need my radiation helmet and plus I don't need that so I can just put those two things in here I think I am going to need a couple batteries though. So I need some copper. Now all those limestone chunks back there would come in handy then. Alright, sandstone, I need uh, limestone now. There we go. get some copper I think uh, three batteries should do and sandstone sandstone because we're gonna be all going over to the island and searching what is going on over there but first, we gotta head to the guy's uh, life pod and see what's happened to him. Because that's the place where I have to. It gave me. Okay, there we go. Oh, I need mushrooms too. Uh, one, two, three, four. So, yeah, four mushrooms. I mean, four mushrooms, sorry. Uh, eight mushrooms, actually. It's a lot of mushrooms. Oh, it looks all nice and uh, looks nice and green over here. All right, so eight mushrooms. I think that's eight. Three, eight. Good, good, good. I think I only have yeah two solar solar panels. Not really a lot of power, but. It's definitely better than nothing. Now, obviously, I don't need four batteries, but they're just backups in case I need them. Because I'm going to bet you I will need them. There we go. These better not be these uh, stupid biter fish that are biting my base. Oh, you really, you really wanted to do that. And that's what you get. Alright, I need to actually, uh, let me actually grab these guys over here. New creature discovered. Grab some of these new creatures. I'm also going to be trying to scan, I, I might have already said this, but I'm going to try and scan every single thing if I can. I'm going to cook that. And I'm going to cure that. There we go. Uh, make sure I eat that. Okay, we're good. Let's go. I definitely won't be able to make it down because the 300 meters means how far down they are. So Let's see if we can actually uh, at least... Uh, wait, do we have my rebreather? Yep, I do. Now, I like that over there because... I just feel more comfortable with that. Okay, there's also uh, some other stuff uh, I need to collect over here, so hopefully uh, I'll be able to find that easily. So let's see if there's any uh, interesting uh, things down here. I think there's a wreck down here too. 
So if you guys are wondering uh, just uh, where to find one of these wrecks, one of them I think is down here. After been playing the game for over a year and everything, to kind of get used to where everything is, yeah, I think that's it right there. Yeah, there's some blue pin prints around, so I definitely want those. Alright, let's get this. Uh, vehicle upgrade console. That's a nice one to find. And a moon pool fragment. That's even a much nicer find. What's this? That looks uh, something you can scan. Ooh, I want to scan you. you. Get the peeper. I think I can scan that. Oh, oh no, I didn't. I don't have that yet. That's a moon pool fragment. There's a bunch of moon pool fragments over here. Okay, now we need to uh, get into the thing. Oh, power cell charger. And I think that's one of Ooh, light stick. I haven't actually tested the light stick before, so I think I'll do it that I'll do it this series just to test to see what it does. I'm sure it's something uh, definitely uh, very useful. Is there another way in, or I need, or do I need the laser cutter? Yeah, I probably do need the laser cutter. And I did see something down there, down the cliff a little bit, down over here. Yep. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Nice try. Oh, there's gel sacks down here. These are very helpful. And some shale chunks. This is where you can find gold. And also, lithium. Is there any uh, other, other ones down here? I'll get something else in just a second. I just need to check to see if there's any more shale chunks because I want to show you what else they can have in them. It's definitely very dark down here. It must be nighttime. Alright, uh, torpedo arm fragment. Okay, I don't think there's two here. So, gel sack. Definitely need this. Because I already used it. I can use this make a brand new uh, blueprint and it's called Aerogel and I need Ruby though however as you saw by the thing right here you need Ruby there's actually Ruby right here scan this too get all the uh, geology data also get some lithium down here too that's really helpful. Oh my god, it's so dark here. Alright, we got enough uh, gel sacks. Oh, there's actually a pipe system down here. The alien vent. Okay, thanks for the reminder. actually really dark here and I don't like it I'd be terrified if this if that if this was in real life aboard, Captain. I should actually turn this on yeah that's way better all right so for uh, for the uh, data downloads the alien data you have the alien vent. These vents connect to an ancient piping network that extends beyond maximum scannable depth. The pumping system is still functional. The inflow vent is drawing water from the surrounding area and pumping it into an unknown location below the surface. Warm deoxygenized water is being expelled into the atmosphere. Most creatures are avoiding the vents. Peepers can be observed entering and exiting the pipe network without signs of distress. Further research required. Now that will come later in the uh, series, but there's actually a really important part to that. 
Oh yeah, this is way better. I can see for miles now. Okay, I need quite a bit of these rubies. It is completely like just pitch black down here. Is that it for shale chunks? Because I really want to find one more. Okay, then I'll just go up to the sea moth. And the point is just... Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Oh, there's another wreck up here. I didn't even see that. Okay, I can just go right in here. Oh, no, can't. <laughs> that plan backfired really quick. Oh, I need another, I need a laser cutter. That's unfortunate. Oh, I hate these spade fish that they do damage to your sea moth. Okay, he's Warning. down Maximum there. Depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Okay, time to go down. It'll spawn in, but it'll take a second. Grab that. Officer Keen's voice log. And then there's something else in here. And, it, and this is what I'm looking for. Signal location uploaded to PDA. This is the signal I want to look for. Aurora Rond Rond Rendezvous Point. Which is what we was trying to send before, but we did not get because the coordinates corrupted. So we can just, uh, because I want to show you guys this, uh, this is a very interesting one, uh, data downloads, I think it's, uh, Rural Survivors. There's the crew log. This is the, uh, the rendezvous. And then the distress thing, this is really cool. Just listen. Keen, this is Aurora. Come in. This is Keen. Light pod detached. Okay, planet fall in 30 seconds. The computer has identified a landmass at the attached coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew there. Understood, but they are your responsibility now. Don't let them down. Captain, you need to evacuate. Negative. You'll need the ship in one piece if you're going to contact HQ on the long range. I'm attempting a controlled descent. Captain! Well, obviously, that's when they lost uh, contact. Biodiversity in this region is unusually low. Cause unknown. Yeah, cause is unknown because it's just due to the certain biomes. Okay, so it's just right up there. I think that's a shale chunk right there. As I was saying what I wanted to show you, if I just break this open... Oh, that's not what I want! Come on, I want to show everybody. Even though probably everyone knows what's in it. Oh, goodness, that kind of scared me. So it's actually really close to the uh, rendezvous point. Oh, wow, it's so close that it's actually just right here. Pretty much the uh, Officer Keen was just right below it. Land. I'm going to take a drink of water. Picking up multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. And all this plant thing is pretty much uh, scannable. The only thing that's not scannable, I believe, are these trees. I'm gonna probably read all this off camera because uh, there's this just so much st stuff to scan and learn about. Looks like the this plant has been updated. Cause I I 
matching them, I think they were a little different. There's obviously something over there, so I want to go for that. Here's a little shortcut, uh, just down here. Now, if you don't want part story mode, uh, click off the video here, because story stuff is coming up. So, you've been warned. Just, if you don't want to see any story stuff, just look away now. Well, or mute the video, or whatever. But as we come up over here... Some more stuff to scan. There is actually a base here. And basically, this is part of the story. Oh, jeez. I want to scan you, but I don't want you to hit me. Oh, you son of a gun. Come here. Oh, wait, wait the... Okay, he's done. There's another one inside there. I'm gonna scan that. Near blueprint acquired. There's a exterior grow bed. Advanced synthetic soils allow this grow bed to support a huge variety and quantity of alien plant life. It can be installed anywhere on land or underwater. There, where there's space. Now there used to be crates here, but I think they're gone now. So that's definitely a change. Oh, there's something here. Ultra glide fins. That's really helpful. I think there's uh, something else down here. I better take my knife out. Yep. Okay, he's dead. Battery. There's that. Integrating new PDA data. There's a voice log right there. And you notice it said the Degasi, which is, this is the ship that crashed down before us. New blueprint acquired. There's like so much stuff here just to grab. Integrating new PDA data. And there's something right here. This is really helpful. A multi-purpose room. New blueprint acquired. There's a purple artifact right here. And, ooh, what is this? I don't know, but... Definitely looks something to hold on to. Integrating new PDA data. I'm actually a little thirsty, so I'll take a drink. Nope, no you don't. You're not chasing me. Speckled rattler. Alright, I believe there's, uh, and there's two bases up here. Very sure you can be up here. Nah, maybe not. There you go. Okay, there's one up there and there's one up there. So we're gonna go up to this one first. You can actually see like everything out there. It's just it's really nice. Oh, that's new. Crates up here now. Takes his rifle, and that's what I need. This is really important. Spotlight. Nice thing to have. New blueprint acquired. Except I never use the spotlight, so I don't think it's really going to be useful. New blueprint acquired. And there's some other stuff in here, like an observatory. I don't use it that much, but who knows, might use it for like a nice look at the base. New blueprint acquired. There's just so much stuff here to scan. 
they should really make an achievement where uh, basically uh, if you like collect all the scannable data, Integrate you should get an achievement for that. Data. That would be a nice achievement. Well, definitely a kind of a difficult achievement to get. Yeah. And there's the uh, rendezvous, rendezvous point. But we'll go to there in a second because there's actually some other stuff I want to show around that you can still get. Well, you still, like, you should get. Because it's not only story related, it's actually kind of a puzzle. It puzzles the pieces together. And I'm just showing you the way of how to get up here. Definitely not the best way of uh, getting up here, but it works. Alright, go up here, and then we're up here. I didn't see a box, so that's unfortunate. Oh, marble melon plant. I'll gladly scan that. I meant to do the pot, but I uh, guess they didn't want me to do that. Integrating new PDA data. And there's some other stuff right here. New blueprint acquired. I'm also going to be collecting some of this uh, stuff on the way out because uh, I do want it for uh, later use. Alright, can I go down here without taking any damage? It looks like I can. Alright, that's where we gotta go down there next, but I actually did this uh, still in practice, but basically I forgot something. Ooh, Ooh that hurt. Take a med kit. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna get some of these seeds before I go. Now, there's actually something over here that I missed, and you could probably see it right now. I actually missed this when I was doing uh, another run. Signal location uploaded to PDA. And it's the aftermath. Integrating new PDA data. All right, and now we gotta get to the uh, run a viewpoint. So we need to see what's down there. There is something down there. I will tell you that. I would recommend you go get it, but obviously you don't have to. Why? Okay, we're back. Sorry, just my game froze there again, like in episode one, and I don't like that because the crashes. Then, well, that's not not. I'm not happy about that. Oh, that's gonna be a deep drop if I don't. Oh. Yeah. Barely any damage. It's 38 meters. It's over here. Getting closer. I'm trying to remember how to get to it though. Uh, that's how you get back here. Ouch. Come on. Can't remember. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's how you get here. Okay. Jumping. Big dive. That would really hurt if it did it go wrong. This is the rendezvous voice log. Can I actually scan these? Ancient floater. Ooh, that's cool. Some of these different coral shell plates. And can I scan these? Brew cluster. I don't think that's anything. Now here's some more story stuff, so just uh, be aware of that. Let's uh, go to... Ronnie View voice log. This is off. This is awesome. Listen. We have to board the Aurora. Repair the long-range comms. Make contact with the other survivors. We can't be the only two that made it. Those are not the orders the captain gave me, and they are not the orders I'm giving you. This isn't chain of command. It's survival. My obligations as acting commander don't turn on their convenience. Get out of the water. If I get into trouble, I'll send you my coordinates. I can't let you go alone. Then come with me. You don't leave me much choice. Received emergency transmission from second officer Keen. Two hours after last activity. Rendezvous was a failure. Intercepted a transmission from Altera HQ. Seems they sent a data package to the Aurora. We were intercepted by a Leviathan-class predator before we could reach the ship. Consider the CTO and I lost at sea. Be safe. 
Keen, out. So basically something happened to them. Fire Leviathan Classic Predator, which I'm sure a lot of you know which one. So before we go, that's everything off this island. Now we're just going to go and just grab everything we can before we leave because uh, there is actually a lot of useful stuff here. There's another radio message. Here's one of them. I need one of these seeds. These, I'm only grabbing the uh, stuff that matters. So this is one of them. And another one is that lantern tree, because those are really good food. Marble melon and Chinese potato plant, I believe. That's it. Well, actually, if you go over here, I think there's more uh, grow beds over here, if I can remember. Yep, there you go. I think I only need the small one. Yeah. So, marble melon right there. Chinese potato plant. Inventory is full. I don't have any other room. What I should actually do is do that. Eat that. Oh, but that's not good. Uh, hmm. I'm not going to use these flares, so I drop one of those, even though it's working, because I need to go get the lantern tree now. Because that's another good one to have. Everything else is just inedible. They only grow uh, on one spot of the island, which is back here. It's very colorful back here. Alright, so go back here and then we'll grab this, uh, grab this here, grab one of the lantern fruits, just make sure that we have everything. There we go. Yep, that's it. All right, and that's uh, that's everything we can grab. So now we just gotta head back to the. Look at my shadow. <laughs> Starting to turn nighttime. All right, let's head back to the main base. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah, let's go there. While on our way, I actually want to read one of those uh, fauna. Uh, where is it? Uh, that's land. Flora. Nope. On a ancient floater. This is a this is a scavenger and parasite. Biodata suggests these vast flows have matured into an ignis symbolus with the land they attach to. The attached land masses raised in the water, increasing the sunlight, encouraging plant growth. As older plants decay, organic residues and nutrients seep into the rock and are consumed by the floater. These circumstances must have held for thousands of years for the floater to reach the size. Life cycle. Immature floaters are born near are born near the surface from where they sink to the seabed, attaching them to any stable surface they find on the way. Those individuals fortunate enough to attach to a digestible nutrient source will grow in size, thus increase their buoyancy and draw whatever they attach to closer to the surface. In extreme circumstances, a number of floaters may attach to a leviathan class life form, forcing it to the surface and effectively asphyxiating it. The body will be consumed over a number of months until eventually dissolving, leaving the floaters free to attach to a new host. Those creatures was 
which successfully raised a landmass to the ship. Fish are rewarded for a bur burgeoning and permanent food supply, allowing them to fly to reproduce and begin the cycle again. Assessment. Incredible. I guess so. Why is it right here? I don't like that. And there's a, a proposed Degasi habitat. Oh yeah, that's the other uh, Degasi habitat. I think I can actually see my base from here. That's a, that's one of the lights, I believe. Yeah, it's definitely a light. Nothing in the way. You can see this stuff, things, see these things for miles. And also, when you go into the certain biomes, they brighten up a lot, like the grass biome. It's very bright. Alright, we're here. We were able to get a bunch of stuff, so let's go on in. Captain. Let's play this message while we craft some stuff. High priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attached. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kassar. I said Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Signal location uploaded to PDA. So I guess we have another light pod. Carrying high priority passenger remains, which is that way. Do I have any titanium? I got some in here. Because I need to actually make a little outside area right here. Uh, exterior. There we go. I'll put this right here. Go. I need to Farming put that. Alien plants is a proven survival strategy. Craig McGill survived 47 months on a healthy, raw salad of live tree roaches and stank root. Interesting. So now we have some gel stacks going. Now, can I make a... Can I make a multi-purpose room? Okay, that's perfect. That actually works really nice. Now I think I do need to make a... I do need to make a... Reinforcement, I believe. Let's make a... Finish making this, though. Uh, 6.8. Okay, we're pretty good right now. It may be pretty Separate work and leisure spaces to maximize productivity. Treat this space as your home, but never forget that it is not. Alright, I want to put this uh, right in here. Okay, that's not what I want. Uh, that's what I want. I want to put it as close to the wall as possible and make it as centered as possible. Because once I put this, it's pretty much permanent there. Always put stuff like this in the corner so you don't have to worry about it. Alright, let's see where that goes. Okay, it's actually right there. Is it even growing? That grows because if it doesn't, then I'm gonna have to go back. I don't even see the potato plant. Oh, there it is. I see it.
And there we go. And that's where I wanted that. Okay, that's good. All right, everything is growing. All right, I think that's going to do for this episode, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm just going to take probably a little break from this. So, got a lot of a lot of stuff done. And uh, next episode, uh, we should be able to expand our base a little bit more and uh, get some more work done. All right, well, anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.